I have the Redmi Note 12 smartphone from Xiaomi right here. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to gain root access to this device with MIUI installed. The first thing we need to do is download the firmware that matches the same version of MIUI that is currently on our device. We can find which build number is installed by opening up the settings application tapping my device and then choosing the all specs app. Look for the MIUI version card right here and make note of those letters and the version of MIUI that is listed here. So we need to download the fastboot ROM of this firmware. I use a website called Xiaomi Firmware Updater and you can find this linked in the video description below, but you can download this firmware from many different sources online. So with this website, we're gonna tap the big button right here, choose the drop down menu, and then begin typing the name of our device. You're going to see all the other results filtered filtered out and then we can then select the device we have. We're going to make sure the ROM and the latest check marks are checked and then tap on download. This is going to take us to a download list where again we're going to look at the MIUI version and the letters that were listed in the build number. Again, we're going to be downloading the fast boot version of this device. And again, make sure that we are not downloading the recovery ROM since this download will not include the boot image file that is included in the fast boot version of the ROM. This is the firmware that I just downloaded. I extracted the contents and got this folder. Within that folder is this file, which I again extracted the contents and got this folder. So we go in here until we find the images folder, go inside that folder, and we're going to take this boot.image file and copy it to our Xiaomi Redmi Note 12. With that file copied to our Redmi Note 12, we then need to install Magisk onto this device. I download this directly from the developer's GitHub page and will be including that link in the video description as well. Let me know if you end up having trouble installing the Magisk APK file. I know MIUI can be strict when trying to install apps from an unknown source on devices without a SIM card installed. This tutorial for rooting the device will work on the base model of the Redmi Note 12, as well as the Redmi Note 12 Pro, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, the Redmi Note 12 Discovery Edition, and the Redmi Note 12 Pro Speed variant. And it will work for both the China and global releases of the firmware. So with the Magisk app installed and the boot.image file copied to our phone, we can then open up the Magisk app and then tap the install button in the card that appears at the top. Now we're going to select the select and patch a file and it should open up a file browser to where we can browse the contents of our device. I put the boot image file into the downloads folder. So once I navigated there, I can see that boot image file and then I select it. When you're ready, tap the let's go button and then let the app patch the file and then make note of the file that it outputs. 
you can see it has written a file to the download folder. This file will either go into the same folder that you had the boot image file, or it will simply be placed in the default downloads folder like we see here. Either way, we need to take the file that begins with magisk underscore patched and then copy it to our PC. Not only that, but this magisk underscore patched file needs to be copied into the same folder that we have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. Now that we have the patched boot image file on our PC, we need to boot the Redmi Note 12 into Fastboot mode. If you're not aware of how this is done, check down in the video description area as I will include a link to a dedicated tutorial that I did that shows all of the steps involved. Once we have the phone in fastboot mode, we also need to connect it to the PC with a USB cable. And again, we need to make sure that the magisk underscore patched file is in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. Then we need to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as all of those files. So here we have a terminal PowerShell open. Again, this has been opened within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools, and it's the same folder as our magisk underscore patched file. The command we're gonna type out is Fastboot space flash space boot space and then begin typing out the magisk underscore patched file name once we type a few letters you should be able to press tab and it will auto complete the full file name without us needing to type the rest of it out when you're ready we're going to press enter on the keyboard and we're gonna to look to make sure that we see two okay messages here. Fastboot will need to send the file to the device first, and that should get an okay message. And then it needs to write this magisk underscore patched file to the flash partition, and it should get an okay message as well. We need to see an OK message on both actions. If you see an error here, then the process did not work correctly and you will not get root access. But as long as we get two OK messages, then we can force the Redmi Note 12 to reboot by pressing and holding the power button for about seven to 10 seconds. Once you see the screen go black, we can then let go of the power button and wait for the device to reboot back into Android. This boot process should not take any longer than normal since we haven't needed to wipe the data or do a factory reset. It should just go through the normal boot animation sequence. Once we are taken to the lock screen, we can unlock the device like we normally would. And now we're going to look for that Magisk application that we had previously installed. And we're going to tap it to open it up. When you first open up Magisk after flashing that patched file, you may get a pop-up saying that Magisk needs to install some additional functions. If you see a pop-up that appears here, 
go ahead and tap on OK or Yes to allow Majisk to continue with the installation, and then it will reboot the phone and bring you back into Android. You may automatically see that Majisk is installed by looking at this top card right here. We can confirm that Majisk has been installed properly and that we do indeed have root access by downloading and installing a root checker app. Then tapping the verify root option right there. And then tapping grant. That completes today's tutorial on how to gain root access to the Redmi Note 12. This will work on both the China and global version of MIUI as long as you follow all of the steps detailed in this video. If you run into any issues during this guide, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I will help out in any way that I can.